The Anchorage Police and Fire Departments are making major investments in the mental health of their employees. The city has secured hundreds of thousands of dollars in grant money to focus on the well-being of first responders. Investigative reporter Mike Mason is here with details. Mike. Mike and Maria, first responders are often exposed to trauma. It takes a toll on them, and not everyone is able to cope. Some take the drugs or alcohol, or worse, they take their own lives. That's why officials are stepping up by stepping in before it's too late. Violent crime scenes, dangerous fire calls, car crashes with fatal injuries. It's not only the victims who suffer trauma. Police officers and firefighters also reel from its effects on a daily basis. Everything a police officer does is, is trauma, whether they are experiencing a horrific car crash, doing CPR, going to a death investigation, or even hearing about someone else's trauma. And it was like you just did not talk about it. You stuffed it into a sack and slung it over your shoulder. As we all know, that sack gets filled up. It gets very heavy. And that heaviness takes a toll on first responders. Senior Fire Captain Dean Bruce says bottling it up just makes it worse. Firefighters and first responders and even military folks were self-medicating through either alcohol or illegal substances, which would cause a tailspin. Both the police and fire departments have volunteer peer supporters who help fellow workers with stressful life events. But now the fire department has partnered with the South Central Foundation for professional support. The department also has a program for those who need more intensive help. It's a rehab center, it's for trauma, it's for all these things, and they understand us as a culture. So to maintain mental health and wellness, physical health is a very important part of that. Additionally, the Anchorage Fire Department received a $549,000 FEMA grant for health and wellness. It also focuses on injury prevention with over 20 workers out on long-term leave due to injuries and physical problems, it's an important step forward. And what this grant allows us to do is bring in specialists to help bring those folks back. Police have a very stressful job. The APD received the Department of Justice grant for $122,000 to focus on mental health. It's using the money to hire a firm from the lower 48 that specializes in police psychology. If we have an officer involved shooting, we can get that person to be hooked into a clinician right away. Prior to this program, the department was limited on what it could offer its officers. We, of course, had um, you know eight free visits a year to go to a counselor and things like that. Um, but there still was a stigma surrounding um, getting help, talking to someone. And I think this is going to really help by reducing that stigma. That way, officers can focus on the job of being well both on and off the job. The more healthy our police officers are, the better service they'll provide for the community. If you can get out ahead of the curve and talk to people before there's, there's a problem, they're gonna, be, they're gonna be a lot better off. The firefighters grant is initially for two years and the police department grant is for one, but both can possibly be renewed. Next month, the police department will begin working with the psychology firm. The fire department has health and wellness coaches plus a licensed physical therapist working on site now, they're located at the training center.